All right, welcome YouTubers. We're going to recap the 2019 NFL free picks on YouTube. Uh, this chart here is the sort of the ROI. If you can envision that uh, this was a $20,000 bankroll is zero percent, and so every 25% gain would be plus or minus $5,000 here. Um, and I've got three schemes that I normally give out. Uh, the black line is my Martingale scheme. Uh, that has the most picks. And you'll pick a couple successive weeks. That's based upon losing. Or losers. ATS. The um, orange line is a $1,000 multiple scheme where I might bet multiple bets per team. So you might bet 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And the blue dots, squares, I guess, is the fixed scheme. So you bet $2,000 a game. And they all ended up getting, you know, approximately the same. At the end of the day, uh, I had a terrible, awful week 17 picks. And it gets a little crazy in week 17 anyway, 16 and 17. Uh, both 16 and 17 lost a little bit of money. 17 lost a ton of money. Um, and usually I don't play those. Um, if, if, if I can avoid it, if I get some kind of profit at week 15, I'll try to avoid Because you just don't know what those teams are going to do, which teams are going to give up, and which teams are not going to give up. But sometimes you can make some money, and sometimes you can't. Um, you know, if you want to gamble, that's what we're here to do. Anyways, I got out here in week 15, and my... I play the multiple scheme, and it was plus 43.61, or 21.8 percent, in you know covers.com lines. In my real world, I think uh, I've always seemed to be a little bit ahead. I either get a half a game or a full game or whatever, in terms of um, you know pushes becoming wins and whatnot. And this this year it was Cleveland in week 10, I believe was about the only one I can remember, I recall, where, you know, they were minus three on covers.com, and I got uh, minus two and a half most of the week, right, and they ended up uh, winning by three. So, um, the, you know, the minus three on covers was a push, so no no gain there, but in the real world, I gained, you know, 909 of a bet, so another 909 on top of that would push me above the 25% um, scheme. But all of them seemed to peak, or at least the Martingale and the multiple scheme peaked out here at week 15, and Fix was just slightly behind it. They actually peaked out in week 5. So you could have quit at week 5, I guess, but, you know, where's the fun in that? But certainly I went longer than I would normally like to go. I think last year I was out at week 11 and realized about 38% profit in the worst scheme and 40% or more. Um... Stock market this year went absolute crazy. I mean, Apple is up to 291. It started at 209, almost gained. You know, it's 39% gain. Um, not much to say there. I mean, it's a difficult to beat the stock market at this time of year, but at least uh, I think you know the recession will come, or that, that hasn't been the the truth year over year. As a matter of fact, Apple lost a ton of money money last year. Uh, I think they lost 35%. So I mean. It's it's all relative that it that comes and goes. Whereas my my uh, sports betting seems a little be a little more recession proof, right? So, anyways, that's the uh, recap for the year. Hope you followed along and got out when I said, or you just made some money. Again, apologize about the last couple of weeks, but it is what it is. All right, see ya.